It has been more than 20 years since the first crew took up residence on the International Space Station. Bill Shepard, an American, and two Russian cosmonauts, Yuri Gidzenko and Sergei Krikalev. Bill Shepard was the station's first commander. I spoke with him about living in a new environment. Well, it was uh, very cramped. It was always a search to find anything. Um, what the ground expected would take 15 minutes to open a hatch and pull a bag out and get something out would often take four hours because the bag wasn't in the compartment where the data set said the thing was located. How much free time did you have? Uh, I would say it's limited. We worked our butts off for many of the days we were up there. I think one of the interesting things that we did while we were preparing the food, particularly dinner, we got in the habit of uh, taking out a big laptop and putting a DVD movie in it. And as the food was warming up, we'd watch a little bit of the movie and then take a pause, fix the food, and then kind of hover around the laptop and eat dinner. Bill, based on your experience, what advice would you have for China sending its first crew to their new space station? I think what they should be prepared to do is to be really flexible so that you know, not every plan's going to go according to the way it was written. I, I think that they've, they've got to give the crew on board uh, the skills and, and maybe the authority to be kind of flexible about how to get the job done. If I think if they do that, things will go well. There's a difference between what crews going to the International Space Station experience now and what China's first crew will likely experience? Right now, when we train folks to go on space station, it, it's an established environment. Many, almost all the unknowns are behind us. So the crews themselves don't have to have, uh, if you will, intimate knowledge of what, they, what they're faced with. When you're starting with the first crew, that's different. You, the more you know about the guts of the vehicle, the better off you're going to be. The crew of Shepard, Gidzenko, and Krikalev were called Expedition One. The station has been permanently occupied ever since. The crew on board today is Expedition 65. John Zarella, CGTN, Cape Canaveral, Florida.